Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com and we are talking about Tantra and Tantric sex and I'm making some distinctions here between different uh, concepts and different beliefs that people have in society. You might be one of these persons who believes, for instance, for this video, that you need to have sex with multiple partners to be a Tantrika. Not sure at all, okay? Um, here's the thing. Um, being polyamorous or being attracted to different people or feeling like you want to have sex with different partners um, that's a certain set of sexual practices being a tantric or practicing tantric sex is another set of practices sometimes those two things overlap like for instance you can be married and be in an open marriage it doesn't mean that all the marriages are going to be open okay Open marriage means that you open the relationship to the possibility of se having sex with other partners, other possible partners. It works for some people, maybe for 5 to 10% of relationship, there is going to be a certain degree of openness. For many couples who pretend to be in a situation of monoamory or monogamy, the, there will be sometimes cheating episodes happening in the background, which means that basically we are saying that it's a monogamous relationship but then it opens into what becomes actually a polyamory situation because one or both people in the relationship are going to be engaging sexually with other partners. So it's very important to uh, make these distinctions so that we are not in denial with what is really going on. Um, I have lots of uh, friends in the Tantra world, in my field, the yogis, people who are engaged into this kind of exploration who are in a situation of monoamory or monogamy they are extremely exclusive with one person the idea of to share sensuality or sexuality with other people is totally out of the question for them okay so keep that in mind um being a tantrika has nothing to go to do with going around and having big orgies if you want to have big orgies and include the tantric sex practices into that, that's possible. But most people that I know who are tantricas, who are in this field, uh, you know, that's, that's not something that they, they, they engage into. So keep that in mind, because it's very easy to put, you know, labels and judge. And, and uh, I just want to make this distinction to clear the, the, the space. So in clear again, you don't need to have sex with multiple partners to be a tantrika. And you don't, need, you don't even need to have sex at all to be a tantrika. You can be in a situation where you are a brahmacharya, which is basically that you are in a state of celibacy or not engaging into activating your sexual energy. And uh, it's going to be totally good to be within that space and be a tantrika. So tantrika, sexual practices, how many partners you are having, all those are, you know, free possibilities, uh, but they are not necessarily associated one with, with the other. Um, I had personally, while being a tantric, I extended periods of time where I didn't use my sexual energy at all. I didn't have partners for probably like uh, one and a half years, some years ago. Then I had a situation of non memory that lasted for a long period of time as well, for a few years. Uh, before that, I was in committed relationships for extended periods of time. So there has been different, you know, episodes, a little bit like anybody else. And um, it's not exceptional. It's not different than the fields which are out of uh, the, the Tantra world. So yeah, keep that in mind, you know, and start making a little bit of distinctions here, but you understand really what's going on. And maybe uh, once you understand these concepts and these ideas, you will realize that uh, the, the Tantra world and the Tantra, Tantrika training that I, um, practice and that I teach um, is not is not a threatening thing you know it's not like you're forced into needing to have uh, sex with multiple partners you are not forced into anything okay there are certain schools out there uh, and certain teachers who might be saying and practicing different things in my field that's not what's happening at all uh, I encourage respect respect of boundaries you tell me where you want to go and then I give you some tools to, to get there. But it's not about uh, me coming with some sexual agenda and trying to force that on people. Not at all, okay? So 
I want to reassure you that this is not what's happening within the, the vital tantra system. It's something which is the complete path of life mastery and within that space there is the possibility to explore more uh, sexuality and understanding, mastering of your sexual energy. But that's, that's simply because it's part of the tools that we have in life. Okay? I hope that makes sense to you. There are more distinctions that I'm going to cover in a, in a second. Take care. Bye-bye.